Hi all, hope you had a great JE session to exam. So how was your exam is my first question. So many students said the uh, paper was moderate, it was uh, okayish, specifically the maths part was a bit difficult for many. So today we'll get into a few JE questions that we have in hand and um, towards the end of the video we'll do an overview of how the JE sessions were this year and we'll discuss some repetitive questions uh, as well as the exam pattern and so on. So by the way, I'm Nanda, faculty from Think Institute of Design and we provide coaching for design and architecture entrance exams. So let's go into the video. So let's start with the drawing part of GE. So we basically had two questions there. Uh, the first question was a rendering question. An image was given. So this time it was an image of the India gate. And the question was to make a proportionate sketch of the given image and render it using any black and white rendering technique of your choice. So these types of rendering questions are constant in JE examinations and almost uh, in the last five years uh, this pattern of question has been repeating. So in the last few years uh, portraits and monuments were generally being asked. So now the second question. So it was a bit tricky question in the drawing side and uh, it was unexpected for many students and this question also had an or question. Basically the question was to draw a unique tree house using only natural elements including wooden decks and ladders in your design. Ensure that the tree house beautifully blends with the surroundings nature color your tree house using any color of your choice and uh, the or question was to illustrate a vibrant urban food street during a food festival include food stalls representing various cuisines chefs preparing dishes people waiting for their orders and festive decorations that capture the lively atmosphere of the event so use colors to bring the scene to life so both these questions were to test your creative ability to the limit. So uh, I want to know how these questions were for you and you can let us know in the comments below. So now let's go into the aptitude part. Uh, so we had some different questions this time. So basically in the aptitude uh, part, um, I think 90% of these questions were discussed in our classes, in our mock exams. So if you're preparing for NATA or JE examinations uh, in the upcoming years or even this year, so we provide repeater, weekend and crash patches for both online and offline modes. So now let's get back to the aptitude questions. So which modular proportion commonly used in Roman or classical architecture is approximately equal to 1.618? So the answer is obviously the golden ratio. So I think most of you might have got this right. And um, basically the golden ratio is used in different fields, including photography, art, design, architecture. So um, if you are interested to check out uh, in detail on uh, golden ratio, you can check out our Instagram for a, a detailed post on the golden ratio. So let's go to the next question. Uh, where is the famous statue of unity located? So it is the world's tallest statue and it's a statue of Sardar Vallabhai Patel. Basically the statue is in Gujarat and to be specific in Kavadia district. So that is the right answer for that question. So now let's uh, go into the next question. So next question is on Mughal architecture. So which building material is used in the facade of Itimat ud -Dawla? Basically the facade of Itimat ud -Dawla is uh, having white marble. So uh, the white marbles give it a delicate and elegant look. So uh, the monument is also called as baby Taj because of that. So the answer to that question is white marble. So let's go to the next question. Who is the architect of the popular Sagrada Familia? So the answer is Anthony Gaudi. 
the sagrada familia has been under construction since uh, 1882 so basically it is one of the longest architecture projects which is still has not been completed so now let's check out a statement based question that was asked so the question goes like the philosophy form follows function was given and you were given two statements statement 1 says that it means the use of a building is more important than its shape statement 2 says it emphasizes aesthetics more than functionality so you have to choose which is the correct statement about the given philosophy so you have options like only statement 1 is correct only 2 is correct both statements 1 and 2 are correct neither 1 nor 2 is correct so basically the design philosophy form follows function was coined by the architect uh, louis sullivan basically the philosophy means that the use of the building is more important than the uh, shape of it so the answer to the question is that only statement 1 is correct okay now to the next question so which among the following is a famous wrought iron lattice structure built in france in the 1889 so the answer is obviously the eiffel tower so it is a simple question if you know that wrought iron is the material used in the eiffel tower then that is a very simple question for you so let's go to the next question so sandpaper is made of which material so the answer is silica so hope you know that silica is obtained from quartz so if you studied building materials you would be clear of that fact so let's go to another question on materials so which is also a statement based question so two statements were given the first statement was granite is considered as a hard stone the second statement was given as marble is considered as a soft stone so you have to select similar to the previous question you have to select which is the correct uh, statement so here since the questions were collected from students we've got two types of statements in this question like uh, some students were saying that granite is considered as hardest stone was asked and some were saying uh, the question was hard stone so if you know the question exactly you can come in below and let us know if you remember the question correctly let us know what the correct question was okay so uh, if uh, if it was asked that granite is considered a hardest stone then that is obviously a wrong statement diamond is the hardest stone and if it is hard stone then it is a right statement so statement 1 and 2 will be correct in that case so now let's go for the next question so what do annual rings in a tree help us understand so basically the answer to that is to understand the age of the tree so yes annual rings show a tree's age um, and if you can also understand from the rings that if it was a good weather a good climate during that period all that you can understand uh, by uh, uh, checking out the rings of the tree okay so that was another question now let's go for a abbreviation type question so the question is what is the full form of ecbc so ecbc basically stands for energy conservation building code so there were around five abbreviation questions this time and uh, heads up to those who are preparing for je in the coming years uh, you can expect uh, questions Uh, about building codes uh, especially these green building codes uh, so je frequently asks uh, such questions so almost uh, alternate sessions these short forms of uh, lead griha etc are always being asked now which book among the given options is written by architect robert benchuri the right option to that question is the complexity and contradiction in architecture So if you are preparing for JEE NAT exams you can uh, contact us for free preparation materials on architecture literature works on our WhatsApp community specifically for BAC students who are preparing to appear for BAC entrance exams so the link will be given below okay so now let's go for another uh, abbreviation based question so what is the full form of hriday Uh, hriday stands for heritage city development and augmentation yojana 
so uh, another similar question is what is the full form of graha so graha basically stands for green rating for integrated habitat assessment and um, we had one more full form based question that is what is the full form of sdg sdg basically stands for sustainable development goal so uh, guys these government schemes uh, development plans and all are frequently asked by je and both the nat examination so you have to be prepared to answer such questions so the next question uh, basically test your uh, knowledge of architecture styles so let's have a look at it the what is the question is which ancient civilization introduced arches and you had options is greek roman egyptian gothic so the answer to this question is that um, romans basically perfected the usage of arches so they constructed uh, huge and large structures uh, by spanning arches and um, if you can look at the examples of aqueducts and roman bridges you can see the usage of arches so the right answer to that question is roman now let's go for the next question this is also uh, based on architecture styles so the question goes like pointed arches and flying buttresses are features of which architecture style so basically pointed arches and flying buttresses make it possible to create taller structures where you can provide large windows all are aspects of the gothic architecture style so the right answer to that question is gothic architecture so now let's go to the next question so here is an uh, you are given an image and you have to identify the structure so this time the image of parthenon was given so guys pantheon and parthenon both are j's favorite question so uh, in every session at least one of these are asked okay so you have to get your facts clear you have to you have to not get confused between the two so basically pantheon is the one in rome uh, built by the romans and famous for the huge dome over it and parthenon is built by the greeks famous for the classic columns so next question goes like stone is to masonry tile is to dash uh, so this is a relationship based question here in this particular question it's about the material and its application so the answer to that will be uh, stone is to masonry tile is to flooring so flooring is a right answer basically you have to understand the relationship and answer such questions so we have discussed the questions mainly from the architecture awareness topic and uh, once the official paper is published we can discuss on the mathematics and non verbal type questions so basically the je session 2 paper was easy to moderate paper and uh, in the je session 1 there were no arithmetic based questions being asked but surprisingly in the je session 2 arithmetic questions were asked from direction sense blood relation etc in the quantitative reasoning part so arc awareness and non verbal reasoning questions were quite easy and uh, there were a lot of questions from full form type questions match the following questions statement based questions now talking about the drawing part of je session 2 the questions seemed easy but there was one confusing question there the tree house question which was unexpected and uh, time consuming question so that is basically the overview of je session 2 exam so if you have any further doubts you can ask us below in the comments so thank you all for watching and see you in another video